Ed Sheeran didn't like Shape of You and it nearly didn't make the album. Ahead of the launch of his third studio album Ed said he felt Shape of You just wasn't him and it took the two songwriters he wrote it with a month to persuade him to put it on the album. The singer released Shape of You as a digital download on January 6, alongside his track Castle on the Hill, ahead of the release of his album Divided by, Divide, which will drop today. Speaking at an event at Spotify's New York HQ the A-Team singer said, Shape of You was actually the only song that I was like this isn't me at all. It took Johnny and Steve, the guys I wrote it with, probably about a month or two to convince me that should even be on the album, and probably took them another month to convince me that it should be a single. The singer also revealed that he made changes to the lyrics once he had decided on the song. He said, originally, instead of my bed sheets, it was meant to be my t-shirt smells of you or something like that, but I changed it to bed sheets so it could be androgynous. The 26-year-old has been teasing us for a while on Instagram about the release of his new album. Sturmzy's new best friend also revealed that he's had the concept for Divide since 2010 and wanted it to feel schizophrenic. The Everything Has Changed singer said, My first sort of music that I got into that wasn't for my parents was rap, metal, punk. I went one day listening to Iowa, Slipknot and the next day listening to Damien Rice's O. Oh, it was quite a switch. In the chat Ed really went the whole hug on trying to give an insight into his creative genuis, saying that he came up with the idea for the song name Eraser while, erm, swimming. He said, Eraser was a song that was very therapeutic to write, whilst swimming I had this idea that Biff should be Eraser. I don't know why but it just popped into my head and I was like aw oh, that's a cool title for a song. Who are we to question greatness? His song Galway Girl is, unsurprisingly, less to do with water sports and instead has a more personal connection as it was inspired by the Irish town where his cousin and uncle live. In fact, a lot of his songs seem to have a personal connection including Happier, which is a reflection on previous relationships. He said, I've definitely got to a point in my life where I'm friends with all my ex-girlfriends now like we're all cool and it's very much like I'm really happy that you're happy and with someone that you love, and they are really happy that I'm happy and with someone and there's a grown-up element to it. Happier was like that coming out I guess, me writing a grown-up song. And he didn't stop there, Ed also commented on his latest single, How Would You Feel, which he released on February 17th. He said, I really wanted it to sound like an old-school Van Morrison song. I played a really sh guitar solo on it trying to be John Mayer and then was like ah, I have got John Mayer's email, let me just email him see if he'll play on it. So I sent it off to him, kind of forgot about it and then John Mayer sent it back with this f amazing solo on it and I was like ooh, wow, this sounds like a song now. Well, that was a thorough introduction to Ed's creative processes.